Friday the 13th 5, A New Beginning came out only a year after Friday the 13th Part 4, the final chapter, which was supposed to be the last installment in the franchise. Wow, didn't take them long to change their mind now, did it? Either way, let's check out some things you didn't know about the movie. Number 1. Corey Feldman was originally meant to be the lead role in the film, but he was working on The Goonies at the time. Number 2. There were 16 scenes in the film that had to be cut down in order to get an R rating rather than an X rating. By the time it was all said and done, the film was submitted to the MPAA nine times before it was able to get an R. Number three, two of the actors in the film would work together on another film that same year. The two actors was Mark Venerini and Miguel A. Nunez. The movie was Return of the Living Dead. What do you think this is all about? You think this is a fucking costume? This is a way of life. Number four. Like many films in the franchise, this one went by a working title in order to keep the story a secret. This one went under the false title of Repetition. Some actors were able to guess that this was another Friday the 13th film, while some had no idea until they showed up for shooting and saw Tom Morga walking around on set dressed up as Jason Voorhees. Number five. Deborah Voorhees' sex scene was originally going to be over three minutes long and much more intense. This was obviously cut way down so the film could get its R rating. Number six, speaking of Deborah Voorhees, she went on to be a school teacher after working on the movie. Unfortunately, some of her students have found out about her sex scene in the film. So far, this has cost her two teaching jobs at two different high schools. Number seven, with the character of Tommy Jarvis being mentally unstable in the film, actor John Shepard wanted to do some research for the role, so he worked at a state mental hospital to gain some insight. Number eight, the ending of the film was never meant to be a dream sequence. Instead, it was intended to show that Tommy Jarvis has now went insane from his encounters with Jason and is going to become the new Jason, hence the title, A New Beginning. Once producers found out that fans didn't like this idea and wanted Jason of old back, it was scrapped. Number nine. Originally, Violet's death scene in the film was going to be much more gruesome. First, Jason would come into her room and discover Violet working out, instead of busting out those sweet dance moves we've all come to know and love. She would then be killed with a machete right to the crotch. Producers considered this to be, quote, tasteless, end quote, so it was removed. Still, here's a photo of Tiffany Helm in makeup for the original death scene. Number 10. In the original script, the beginning of the film would have been completely different. Following the events of Friday the 13th Part 4, the final chapter, a young Tommy Jarvis would wake up in the hospital after the brutal attacks. In a psychotic rage, he would attack some of the hospital staff until he made his way into the morgue where he'd find Jason's body. Upon approaching the body, Jason would spring to life and sit up. Then, the adult Tommy would immediately wake up in the back of the van while on his way to Pinehurst Youth Development Center. And that's it for our list of things you didn't know for Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. Did you learn anything you didn't know? Leave a comment and let us know. Either way, we hope you enjoyed the video and will subscribe to our channel. Until next time, talkers.